Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Simulation Fallout Nation here, and today we are reviewing everything to do with bales for Farming Simulator 22. Might not sound like there's going to be a lot there, Sim, I may uh, hear you say, but Giants have really pulled the bag out this year for Farming Simulator 22 with bales, and then we're going to walk through why. And there's quite a few different things to look into. We're not going to go too much into the depths of animal feed in there. We're going to leave that very much as it is because I want to eventually get onto that one in a different playlist. But for right now, let's talk about bales. As you can see, we are in a, a field of oats that have been harvested. The election is over there, actually. We've got a big chunk of this done. And we've got our bales. We've got a, square, a small square baler. We've got a large square baler. And we've got a round baler. They're the three types. But as you can see in front of me, the big, big difference is right now, the giants have enabled us to make round bales and square bales of different sizes the small square baler that remains the same but there's some great new features that we'll have a look into with that later on but let's just have a look at our round bales first as it's in front of us shall we you'll see that we have three different sizes now if we jump on into the baler here you'll see our smallest bale is 125 centimeters so 1.25 meters in diameter next one up there is going to be as we start up there is going to be one and a half meters 150 centimeters and then 1.8 meters 180 centimeters in diameter so you've got 1.8 meters there that's a tall bill that's about six foot tall uh you've got your one and a half meter and then your uh, 1.25 and that's great because that allows you to make different bells for different purposes uh and also different regions around the world there do make different size bells the us and northern america do typically make the larger bales uh, which this baler can just about manage to squeeze on in if you need smaller bales for different needs then you can make those as well and the same goes for your large square bales as you can see again this one is done by length though so it's a little bit different so as we stand in front of these you'll see we have uh 240 centimeters 220 and 180 so it's a nice kind of varying size that i love the smaller bales there but also with all of the bales just take a look at the textures they've all been revived uh, revamped they're looking fantastic both either as hay straw or indeed silage same can very much be said for all our uh feeder wagon has arrived we'll get onto that in a moment same can very much be said for the round bales they've got a new net wrap texture on the outside there with a much more improved bale texture to boot with it uh small square bales again look fantastic in the the smaller just look a little bit more realistic there, a little bit more immersive i've even got some round bales over here as well to look at we've got our uh hay bale and our silage bale now you'll see the silage bale has been unwrapped you can unwrap your bales now uh you can take off the the silage foil at least and it allows you to then put it into the feeder which is again just another little step that you need to take there and i think that's blooming magical i love that i really really do uh so that is the main key differences you're going to see with the bales themselves but let's have a look into how they're going to work shall we your small square bales are currently made by one baler only this is the massy the inline 1840 baler we're going to just shoot up this we've uh, up this swath here we've got a fent 720 or 714 sorry ready to go we're just going to fire up the baler lower that down and off we go we're in straw so it's nice and light but you'll see the bale starts to pump out the back and what i'm delighted the giants have done and it's really a good step is they've included the Arcusin bale stacker now this groups round bales or sorry groups small square bales into groups of 14 and ties them together in a string to form essentially one big heston sized bale of small bales makes it a lot easier to carry around you could load it as you would load a regular bale uh, into a trailer onto a trailer and just allows you to really uh, control things a little bit easier because as you can see and as we know from previous versions of the game Stacking all those bales by hand is nothing but a pain, so I'm really glad that we don't have to go anywhere near that one. As you can see, the baler itself is a lovely looking baler, it's just absolutely destroying the, the swath. The textures included with the animation there are really a significant improvement as well. I think that looks really, really impressive. Uh, the baler itself shows some great detail, and it can fold up nice and neatly as well. But what we're going to do, we're going to just turn that off, we're going to inject the last few bales out of here, and then there it is. We just need to fold that one up. That one's stuck on there, so if we go over to here, we can just pick you up, plus you on the ground, like you would a regular small square bale. Fantastic. So it takes 14, like I say, so we've probably got about 14 there that we can go and pick up there. And we're going to have a look into how the Arcusin works. So when all folded up nice and neatly there, it's a perfect little machine to zip down the road. Uh, if you follow Four Winds Farm, you'll see they use these in the hay season uh, to great uh, effect. 
Uh, you're going to press B on keyboard there or uh, to unload this from transport position and then it's automatically working away. As you can see, uh, some tooth conveyors almost uh, drag that bale in, spin it onto its side and push it, push it in. It will put two together and then it lifts them up and it'll do that seven different times. Uh, this has a very good uh, area of, of operation in front of the pickup there so you don't ever feel like you you can't find it or identify it it works really really well indeed uh, i usually set the speed to about three to four miles an hour is usually good enough to allow it to function before you get to the next bale but what's really good is it just will continue to push that bale along if it needs to but by keeping it nice and slow and steady you don't find yourself surging forward and slowing down to try and make everything work as i said it takes the 14 bales to fill it we're just zipping our way through here nicely in a beautiful uh, 6, 7, 18 Massey. Uh, and then, yeah, you... The best part about this is the fact that it makes... It's a new task. It's a new feature. It allows you a little bit more immersion there, but it also makes small square baling fun and, and simple to do. Never have to think about how you're going to stack all these bales. The, the thought of having to do them all by hand is, well, frankly, hideous. So we never want to have to do that. Uh, we're at nine bales there now, so about uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, perfect. We've got plenty in this little line. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll show you uh, how you the, the party trick really for these. This uh, this large bale of small bales uh, is really quite fantastic. You can use this on hay as well as grass, not just straw. We're just using straw today for these uh, purposes. Uh, hay would be a great option to use as well because that. Uh, especially if you're feeding smaller uh, quantities of animals and they don't really necessarily need uh, need much feeding this is a great way to do it and because each of these small square bales is 700 liters so it's a, it's a nice small handy amount there that you can feed now when you're done all you're going to do is you're going to press y and it's going to reject the bale uh, so first thing it does is open the backup now there's a slight issue here that i've done so far but if you speed up it's got stuck. So sometimes this might get a little bit stuck there. Other times it might end up stood on its end, which is always fun. But I'm sure that is just a small little uh, change away. Uh, but what we will do, if it ever does get stuck, you'll see one of the party tricks of this bait is once it's been made, if you want to then just feed a small bit of it, all you have to do, if you press, okay, and squash, press cut. And out come the bales. There you go. So you can get them all back out there and you can just drive forward. And then the worst case scenario, if that does jam up then, you can just re-put them all into a line and then bale them all up again nice and easy. But this is great because once you've stacked them, once you've cut them back to your shed there, you can just, un when you, you want to use a bale, you just pop it open. There's 700 liters. You're going to pop that into, uh, I don't know, a diet feeder, which is just over there. And that will begin to uh, process it and it will be perfect for your animal's needs. So we're going to return to that and use all these bills momentarily in the diet feed there. But for now, let's jump into the 4755. This thing is just a, just a beautiful combination. We're using the new Holland. This is the HD 1290. Uh, we're going to go into the store because there's a couple of lovely customizable options for this that we want to take a look at. You're going to see as you've got a few different bailers, they all produce the same size of bale. Uh, to start with at least there this one as you can see produces between 180 and 240 180 240 180 240 you've got the class quadrant from the platinum dlc and the fs90 in there beautiful looking baler you've got this is the baler that we're currently using but if you change the config to us well uh, look at it isn't that a thing of beauty and then you've got the case as well very similar baler just with the uh, the case branding and finally coon's new sb1290 this is quite a nice looking baler the front end there is very similar in my opinion to the the round baler that we're going to review very soon but nonetheless a very nice looking baler there as well uh so once you found a suitable horse to pull it like this john deere you're gonna fire up the john deere then you're going to fire up the pickup hitch lower it down we're currently using bales that are 220 in length but let's just bring that down to 180 and let's then give us some gear and we're away so it's an absolute unit of a thing. It's going to take a while to see any bales coming out the back of here, given the nature of the the the, the mechanics here. But it's starting to push them through. There, you can see we're already at seventy percent of one bale. Uh, large, large capacities here, and like the small square bales that are at seven thousand seven hundred liters each, we're coming in at about nine thousand liters here for the small bales. There, 
Uh, so it's going to take quite a few of them. But what Giants have done in comparison to FS19 is up the bail capacities there for all the bails. So we'll have a look into what that looks like as we get into the round bails as well. But they have definitely improved and increased those. Now, as you'll see, we're starting to see our first bail come out here. We're going to go down near the side of the swath there as well. Uh, just have a look at what that looks like. But you'll see lots smaller, easier to handle bales here. I do like them an awful lot. What we're going to do is stop about there. Change the bale up to the next size. Something you can do during the bale being made as well. Not like uh, with the previous mods in FS19 where you'd have to empty out the chamber. But you're all looking good there. You can do that on the fly. We're up to 220 centimeters now. So the next, uh, the third bale that comes out here will be that little bit longer. And then when we get the full bale, we'll pick it up to an even bigger one. And there's the first bailout. Now, what you'll see with that is a very nice and smooth mechanic. It didn't twist it. It didn't jump it anywhere. Looks very good. Just looks like a solid bail. What I tend to find as well, when you're handling bales now, when you're loading them onto trailers, they do respond a little bit more uh, organically. They, they seem to have a lot more mass behind them, which is fantastic to see. It doesn't feel like they're going to flip or, or, or spin out the way at any point in time. All right, and we're going to get one more bail out of here, and then we're all set. Now, with all of these bales, uh, with the large square bales and the, the small and the round bales, you can wrap them for silage as well. You can also put them through the Anderson DLC wrapper as well, so you can make an inline uh, tube, really, if you like. Uh, the wrappers will determine which bales you can use, uh, what sizes you can wrap up to. Uh, but yeah, you are all going to be good there. Now, if we just knock this off, you come away from the swath. You're going to press Y and it's going to reject all your bells. So there's one, there's a longer bell, and there's a longer bell still. Fantastic stuff there. And as we have a look into our bell wrappers, uh, you've got your Kvirnlin DLC here that gives you the 1.25 to the 1.5. So you cannot do the larger round bells there for silage. Uh, and again, with the, uh, with the square bell wrapper there, you can't do the largest bell size either. It's going to be the small or the medium size there. Uh, much the same for the round bale wrapper here. You can actually put them all by, all through into that tube. And the same for the inline. You can even do the largest bales there too. So really nice little uh, configurations there for the bales. I think the bales just look perfect. Obviously, it's going to be too heavy to pick up. But really solid units. And they seem to sit a little bit easier as well when you're loading them. Which is obviously what you're going to want to see. We'll have a quick look through our round bale there, shall we? Much is the same. Now, there are uh, several different round balers. You'll see, though, that the Pottinger uh, impress can only do the smallest size bail. So you've got to be careful you don't buy that one accidentally. Your uh, Coon is the one that we have now, can do all three different sizes. Your uh, Combi Wrap Bailer can only do the 1.25 uh, meter. And as a result of that, can only wrap that size as well. So you've got to be a little bit careful. Now, with the, uh, imp the larger impress, so you can do everything. So lots of different options there for you. Now, I'm sure that might we might see things like the Viking Fast Bale coming in at some point as well. Or at least I sure do hope so. What's brilliant about this round baler, you now also have automatic bale ejection on here, which is just something that a lot of people have liked in the past. There it certainly makes bailing that a little bit easier. We're going to just go and find our swath here. Uh, we're currently doing a 1.8 meter bale. Let's start off with a shorter bale. Uh, let's get into a higher gear there. Lower that down. We've got plenty of revs on and we're off. So you'll see as soon as we get to that 1.25 uh, meter capacity bale there, this is going to kick it straight out the back. What you do have to look out for for that one is the tractor will obviously keep going forward until you tell it to stop. So you need to make sure you don't miss too much of the swath there. Uh, but in about 10% of the time, there's a buzzer warning. Now, I have not got uh, an automatic drop enabled, but if I press this button here, Z, then it is now enabled. As you can see, it kicks it straight out again and also lowers it down. If you don't have that enabled, it's just going to be a case of using Y. We're going to go up to the bail size in the middle. Lovely looking baler here. You see what I mean about the crow, the, the coon front end of the baler looks very similar. Uh, I like the animations once again on the pickup reel. And then you'll see in a moment there, there goes bail number two. That's what I mean. You've got to make sure you just kick it back enough just so you don't you don't miss any bits of straw. Like that little island there. And now we're going to go up to the largest size bale. That bale as well hasn't rolled too far, which is always keen to see. You should see that they're going to be a little bit more stable. Now, if you're on a very steep bank, you're going to want to be careful about that because otherwise they will just uh, disappear. Uh, they are round after all. Uh, but yeah, you should see a little bit better performance from the bell physics which is something we've all wanted to see 
Uh, and now, now that's full, you'll see now I've disabled automatic drop again. Bale hasn't come out, I press Y. That door opens up, large bale comes out. Press Y again, door shuts. So you join me now in the mini Manitou. We're gonna have a bit of a play around with this. Uh, because what I want to show you next is how the bales interact with the silage feeder. We're not going to go into what that looks like for making TMR or anything like that. We're going to do that when it comes to talking about cattle. Let's just go and pick up a bale of silage though, shall we? Uh, we'll zip around here. And down we go. Let's pick up this now. So we've already unwrapped the bale, which is looking good. Uh, and all we're going to do is stick it straight on into the feeder. Now, what used to happen... You would get your bale somewhere to the top of the feeder where the trigger would take over and then that bale would just vanish on you. But that doesn't happen anymore. What you'll see does happen. You can either drop it into the feeder completely or you just put it down to about there. You'll see that the quantity of the bale is starting to disappear down. Uh, I'm just going to drop it in if I can. You'll see there's a little bit in the bottom there as I drop that in. The bale still stays there until the fill plane has reached the, the mass of the bale. So 5,000 litres in this instance. Uh, and then you are all good to go. Uh, same thing applies for all the different types of bales you use. Even if you put the bales down onto bale of cell or destroy triggers on uh, inside a cattle or livestock shed. The same thing will apply. So again, it's a little bit of a realism, a little bit of immersion there that really adds so much because it... It just bales don't disappear on you as you'd expect so uh, that is a really nice little touch there indeed now as we look at that bales uh we can see from our round bale here we have a nice little bit of capacity on the bales uh in terms of your information boxes in the bottom right hand corner uh this is straw to, uh, gives you a weight and it gives you a literage as well so 5,000 liters for the smaller bale Seven and a half thousand liters for the medium sized and eleven thousand liters for the big bale. Uh, same applies for our uh, for our square bales as well. You got four hundred kilograms or eight thousand liters, uh, and then a four hundred sixty five kilograms for hay. Interestingly, that might be a little bit lighter there. I wonder. It's a slightly larger bale. That is interesting. Uh, mass and the bigger mass as well. So you can see that the weight, depending upon what your the the, the material that you're you're baling will change up a little bit if we look at these you're gonna have uh, three and a half thousand liters for the smaller silage bale and four and a half thousand liters there as well so very interesting to see a lot heavier weight though isn't that fascinating 620 kilograms it's a it's a heavy heavy bale this is 235 so really quite something to, to think about especially if you're playing with weighted trailer um maximum capacities on uh so you might be unable to add any more bales to that trailer let's say if they are you know if you've already lined up there full of silage bales curiously uh when you do add bales to your trailer now your trailer will tell you how many liters total you have on that trailer for that specific bale type so for example if you had this bale is eight thousand liters if you had four hay bales uh, on your trailer that would be 32,000 liters if you had four straw bales on your trailer that'd be 32,000 liters of straw and it would break it down by each individual type so you know exactly what you've got on your trailer and you know if it's enough really really nice little uh, addition there for your farm and that's it really i just want to kind of break down and, and walk through all the benefits that are out there for your bale and need what was once a very straightforward and simple uh, part of farming bailing up was nothing too too complex at all they've added a lot of detail to it that really brings in that level of immersion that a lot of us crave so hats off to giants once again uh, this has just been a very short and quick video i hope you have enjoyed we will be coming back with plenty more throughout the course of the next uh, week if you have enjoyed and you've yet to do so don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to simulation for the nation and we will see you all in the next one till then do stay safe enjoy what you're doing as always and we'll see you later